think the Declaration of Independence had less revisions. <laughs> Unfortunately, Thomas Jefferson was unavailable to chair this committee. I checked. So, are we good? Mm -hmm. All right, then I'll send it to the Chronicle and I'll also make sure it gets posted to our university website. Any idea when we might see some applications? I think the last time we had a job opening, it took uh, three or four weeks. Isn't that right, Stephen? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. So let's plan to reconvene in about a month and we'll talk about the candidates. <coughs> Anything else we need to discuss before we call it a day? Uh, I think you mean evening. <laughs> yes, evening. I hate to drag this out any longer, but since we're going to discuss candidates at our next meeting, shouldn't we talk about the criteria we're going to use to evaluate them? Ashley, we already implicitly did that when we put together the job announcement. Stephen, would you read the job announcement again? Just from the part that talks about the job expectations. We should probably make sure that the review criteria are clearly spelled out. Sure. Eastern State University seeks nominations and applications for the position of Assistant Professor of Physics. The successful candidate will be expected to conduct outstanding research, teach undergraduate and graduate courses, seek and secure external funding, mentor students, and be involved in service to the university and his or her profession. Yeah, the announcement seems to spell out all the criteria as far as I can see. High quality research, expectation of funding, innovation in teaching, as well as a service to the university and profession. It's all there. Plus, I think we all have the experience to recognize an outstanding candidate when we see one. Absolutely, and that's the purpose of the announcement, to describe what we're looking for in a candidate. I think we have our criteria covered. I'd like to see us have commitment to diversity and promoting a multicultural environment for learning included in our criteria. Well, the ad already has a statement about that. Here it is at the bottom. The university is an affirmative action, equal opportunity employer committed to diversity. All qualified candidates will be considered and will not be discriminated against based on race, ethnicity, sex, or nation of origin. Besides, we should be making our decisions based on criteria that advances the department. I'm talking about research and teaching. We need to focus on academic quality and our rankings. Well, I agree with that, Jeff, but diversity is important. I mean, there's a reason it's highlighted in the university's plan. But are we highlighting that by relegating it to the fine print at the bottom of our ad? But I hope that we all can agree that excellence must come first. Isn't that our main objective, to advance the university? A simple boilerplate statement in our ad is not nearly enough with the rapidly changing demographics in our field and in the country. We need to start moving in a positive direction with regards to diversity. There are plenty of great reasons why diversity is one of the pillars of the university's strategic plan. For example, employers are coming to our campus looking for students who can excel in a multicultural world. Companies need a dynamic workforce that understand the new and emerging markets which are now much more diverse. If we don't address this important need, employers will go elsewhere and this university will become irrelevant. And if we want to attract underrepresented minorities to our campus, our faculty and staff need to be diverse and have a commitment to inclusiveness. If we don't, this university will become irrelevant. Also, diversity is a priority for funding agencies. If we want to be successful, we need to pay attention to these signs. If we don't, we will become irrelevant. Thank you.